Replacements is when an entity removes an original part or component from an old asset and replaces it with a new component. These costs are capitalized because they are measurable and they improve the future economic benefit of the original asset by improving its service potential, its ability to generate revenue in the future. The carrying value of the original part or component being replaced must be written off because it has no future economic benefit. It's gone. If the carrying value is known because it's been reported as a separate component originally, a separate item of PP&E, then the original value of the component and the related accumulated depreciation is written off. If the carrying value is unknown because it was originally included in the value of another asset, then the carrying value must be estimated. That estimated cost of the old part or component and the related accumulated depreciation must be written off. Let's do an example of when the cost is known and when it is unknown and has to be estimated. We'll start by reading the question. Alpha Inc. replaced the roof of their manufacturing facility at a cost of $230,000, replacing the roof which was installed when the building was first built. The factory was constructed 15 years ago. A. The original roof was reported as a separate component of PP&E factory roof. When it was constructed, the original roof cost $140,000 and had been depreciated on a straight line basis over its estimated 20 year life. Provide the required entry or entries to report the new roof. Let's wait to go on with B and I'm going to give myself some space. Step one is to determine the amount of the accumulated depreciation for the original roof. The original roof costs $140,000. There is no salvage or residual value, so we leave that blank. We know the estimated useful life is 20 years. So we're going to divide $140,000 by 20 years. Depreciation is $7,000 a year. We know that the factory was constructed 15 years ago, so they've taken 15 years of depreciation. So we're going to take the $7,000 and multiply it by 15. $105,000, which is the amount of the accumulated depreciation. Now, step two is to eliminate the original roof. Accumulated depreciation is a credit account. In order to eliminate it, we're going to debit it. The original roof is a debit account. In order to eliminate it, we have to credit it. Remember, the original cost is $140,000. The difference between these two amounts is the loss on the disposal of the roof. We're just going to take the difference between these two amounts. The loss is $35,000. Now, step three is to recognize the new roof. The new roof is capitalized as an asset, so we're going to debit an asset account. The cost of the new roof is $230,000. Although it isn't clearly stated in the question, we're going to assume that the new roof was purchased for cash. And there we have the write-off of the original roof and the recognition of the new roof. Note that we could combine this into one entry. We've got to have the debit to the accumulated depreciation to get rid of it. We've got to recognize the loss on the disposal of the roof and we're still going to pay cash for the new roof. Now, to recognize the roof, we only need to recognize the difference between the old cost and the new cost. The old cost was 140,000 and the new cost is 230,000. Let's see if they add up. Both the debit and the credit are $230,000, so we know we've got it right. After the two entries or the one combined entry, we're going to end up with a factory roof value of $230,000. Let's just do a quick T account. Accumulated depreciation started off with 105, and the factory started off with 140.
If I do the combined entry, we can see that the accumulated depreciation is debited by 105,000, which results in an ending value of zero. In addition, we can see that the factory roof is going to be increased by 90,000, which results in an ending balance of $230,000. In addition, on our income statement, we'll see a loss on disposal of roof of $35,000 and our cash will decline by 230. Perfect. Let's move on to part B. The original roof's cost is unknown as it was included as part of the building. The building has been depreciated on a straight line basis over a 40 year life. An engineer estimates that construction costs have doubled since the original roof was constructed. The new roof is expected to last 20 years. Provide the required journal entry or entries to record the new roof. Step one is to determine what was the original cost of the roof. We know that construction costs have doubled since the original roof was constructed, and we know what the new roof costs. Remember, their new roof costs $230,000. So we're going to take the $230,000 and we're going to divide it by two. The old roof is estimated to have cost $115,000. So now we have the estimated original cost, but we have to determine the amount of accumulated depreciation to date. We know that the building is being depreciated at a rate of 40 years. So let's use that to calculate the accumulated depreciation. We're going to start with the 115,000. No residual value, so that's zero. We're going to divide it by 40 years. So if we do that division, we see it's $2,875 per year. How many years has elapsed since the original roof? Well, we know that from this question, 15 years. So we're going to multiply the $2,875 by 15. The total amount of accumulated depreciation to date is 43,125. Now, step two is to write off the original roof. We're going to do a debit to the accumulated depreciation. 43,125. We're going to credit the building because that's where the original cost resides. And we'll do that for the total estimated original cost of the roof, 115,000. The difference will be the loss on disposal. $71,875 is the loss on disposal. Now, the next step is to recognize the new roof. Do we include this in the cost of the building? because the estimated useful life is the same? Or do we put this as a component? Let's take a look. We can see that for the building, the estimated useful life is 40 years. They've already taken 15, so 40 minus 15 is 25 years. The building has 25 years left. However, the new roof is 20 years. So we're going to use component accounting and we're going to recognize the roof as a separate component. The original cost, $230,000. And we're going to assume they paid cash for this, $230,000. Now, we could have done this as one entry. We still need the debit to the accumulated depreciation. Still have to record the loss. We still have to credit the building because the value is going to disappear from the building account. We have to recognize the new roof and we have to get rid of the cash. You can see that this one entry really didn't change anything at all. If we did a T account, we would see that the building account has gone down by $115,000. And a new asset, factory roof, now has $230,000 in it.